Why, hello there my lovelies. Welcome back to another Halloween tutorial. <laughs> Alrighty, today I'm going to do ghost face and I'm working on my sister's hands. And because she hasn't worn nails in a really long time, I need to do a full set on her. So I've prepped her nails by removing the shine. And now I'm going through and applying the tips using some nail glue. And then I'm going to cut them to the length which she wants. And I'm going to blend the tip into the nail. After blending in all 10 tips, I am then applying primer to the natural nail. Primer is only ever applied to the natural nail and that is applied so you can regulate the pH of the nail to help minimize lifting. With that complete, I can then go in and apply my acrylic bead. Here I'm trying to one bead it and I'm slowly getting there, <laughs> patting the acrylic bead into place up until I'm happy with how it's sitting on the surface of the nail. As most of you would know, I haven't been working on clients since probably about the beginning of August this year. And this lapse in actually working on human hands for probably just a few months, I feel like I have lost the skills which I've had, <laughs> which is probably why I'm struggling a little bit with this one bead application of acrylic. But I persevere and then I manage to get the acrylic looking the way I want it to. I allow it to dry completely and then I can begin my finish filing process. Here I am filing the free edge into the, a nice square shape which my sister wanted. And then I swap over to my e-file and sanding band and I'm smoothing over the surface getting it ready for my uh, nail art application. I get rid of all the dust. On my brush I've sprayed a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to help with the removal of all the dust. And now we can start with the painting. I'm using Madame Glam's magenta and I'm painting it on the pinky. We did want to go for a Halloween theme but not as dark as usual. The other nails will be black but I did want to incorporate some pink into these nails and my sister chose this colour magenta. So we're painting it on the pinky. The ring finger and the middle finger will be black and this one is Madame Glam's perfect black. On the pointer finger I did want to use the pink again but I wanted just to do a French to sort of break up the solid looking colour look. So I am applying the colour in the French position of the tip and taking my time to get the wings nice and high and the smile line nice and sharp. I do get it a little bit on her skin but I wipe it away before she does cure the nails. And last but not least, the thumb is going to be pink as well. So I do one coat on that one. This is the first coat I'm applying. I cure it for a full minute and then I apply the second coat of colors, cure them for a second time. And then I'm going to apply a matte top coat on all the nails. That way I can go ahead and paint my nail art ideas on the matted surface with ease because the paint will stick and apply better to a matte surface. Like most top coats, this will require a curing time of one minute. So I'm going to do that and then move into hand painting. For the pointer finger where I did the French, I am going to add a blood drip smile line, but out of black gel paint. And I'm using gel paint from Wildflowers Nail Academy. And I'm taking my time to trace the smile line so it's nice and straight. And then I'm adding fine details of black blood drips just almost in the center of the, of the nail and the smile line French. This does not need to be perfect by any means because it is like dripping blood. So make sure you get lots of wiggles and waves into it. That I'm going to flash cure so I don't accidentally knock it. And then we can start drawing the ghost face. As you can see to the phone on the right, I am following a reference photo and that's a photo that my sister actually drew because she is an artist herself and is amazing at drawing. So you can understand why I felt extra pressure going by one of her sketches. <laughs> uh, and luckily I did live up to her expectations because she did like the final product. 
So basically what I'm doing is outlining using white gel paint all the areas which I want to keep dark and black. And once I've got the rough outline, I'm going to then go back in with some more gel paint and start colouring in all the parts which I want white. I've been doing a lot of hand painting with gel polish or gel paint lately this year for Halloween and one thing I've noticed which I'm going to share with you guys is to make sure the paint looks smooth to the eye before you do in fact cure it because that's going to help the overall end result. So do take your time and sort of adjust the pressure to your brush strokes to make sure the paint on the nail surface looks nice and smooth before you do cure it. It's going to make a difference when you actually apply your top coat. After applying the white, I give it a full cure and now I'm going back in with a dark gray to add some shading to this ghost face. And when I'm happy with the shading, I'm also going to give it a full cure and move on to another nail. On the thumbnail I am drawing a knife which is what the killer used in the movie so I've added a black handle and I'm using silver gel paint to add the blade. I asked my sister if she wanted a bit of blood drips on the knife and she said no so we just left it as a plain knife. Once I'm finished painting the blade I'm going to add a little bit of shading to it and then give it a full cure and I'm moving on to the middle finger. Here I'm just writing call me with blood drippy fond. <laughs> I'm going to cure that as well. Basically all the nails will be fully cured and then I can apply my final no wipe top coat to all the nails. If however you find with the hand painting it still looks a bit rough after your no wipe top coat add another one or another trick I like to use is adding a base coat first curing the base coat and then applying my no wipe top coat and that seems to give it a beautiful smooth finish but on that note here is the completed set what do you think of it be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set if you enjoyed this video do hit that like button to let me know and if you haven't yet subscribed do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you get notified of any videos I put out in future and that's it for today's video uh, as a bit of a joke I said to my sister well it's time to pay me now how are you going to pay me cash or card and this is how she paid me <laughs> oh, sisterly bonds hey <laughs> but in the meantime if you'd like to watch another video YouTube recommends this one for you well I recommend this one which one will you choose I'll see you all next time bye